Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me for special edition floss tube number 14. B. <laughs> um, I had so much stuff to share with you because I haven't been here for three months that I, like I said, if you saw floss tube number 14 A, which was just pure stitching. Sorry, my daughter's in the room with me, per usual. Um, so, girl, she, they don't want to see. <laughs> So you got a new toy from the thrift store today. Mm. All right, go play. Can you do that? If you're gonna make noise, go in the other room. Okay. Um, but I had so many other things that weren't stitchy related and I have a bandwidth upload limit. <laughs> so as much as I would have loved to just upload an hour long floss tube, that's just not realistic for me in rural Oklahoma yet. We're looking into getting Starlink. Hey, don't you dare, go. We're looking to get Starlink, maybe. Um, it is available in our area, it's just a process, and but we need internet. And especially, I find out right before the kids start school in August if I get hired on full-time or if I get to be like a part-time substitute. Um, I find out in August if I get hired on full-time or if I get to be a part-time substitute. If I get to be a part-time substitute, then definitely um, internet is going to be absolutely number one priority because then I get to go um, I wanted to say something, but I don't think it's appropriate. Gangbusters, is that, you know, I'm gonna say that, basically. Uh, uh, let's see. I What I first wanted to share with you is I crocheted a Yoda, and this is a free pattern. Josie, and Yoda. Josie, please, hold on. So she's very excited about it. So it's a baby Yoda, and this is supposed to be oversized, and my tension, I used the same size hook for both of them, but unfortunately the coat came out small. Um, if I had known that that would happen, I would have gone up two hook sizes. And I can redo this, I just don't want to redo this right now. I'm not selling it and my kids are happy with it. So the coat didn't even want to close up all the way. Um, so I just tacked it down, but hold on, Josie. I am watching Baby Yoda's eyes. Okay, so it's really cute. I really like the Baby Yoda. And when I have time, I might redo yeah, the, me the too. jacket, but... It's cute. Um, I used Red Heart Super Saver yarn and for the body, and then the uh, coat is made out of Lion Brand wool. Um, and it was fast and easy to make the coat. Honestly, I thought was the, the longest part, and that's why I didn't want to remake it because I didn't enjoy making it to begin with. But I love making the Baby Yoda. Um, uh, baby Yoda is the dude. Yeah, and I'm not gonna. Uh, mommy, my Jenna. Yeah, okay. And I'm not gonna discount that because it was a free pattern that it, like, it's okay that it wasn't perfect because there were a lot of problems with the pattern. Um, I don't wanna discount that because it was a free pattern, like it's okay that it wasn't a great pattern because I have free patterns and I put just as much effort into them as if I were charging $5 for them. and. I think that I will start putting my patterns on Etsy um, because maybe part of my success in things is because it's free. People think, well, if it's free, maybe it is inferior, which doesn't make sense, but you know, I maybe, I don't know. So um, yeah, uh, I liked Yoda. There was a lot of figure it out. and. I won't make another one, but I'm glad I have this one. Okay, okay. Um, so, Baby Yoda, glad it's done. I have started a new project. It's another dinosaur. If you watch, or you may have heard your kids watch, Mar Mariah Elizabeth, um, she's huge on YouTube. Anyway, she has a lot of her own original characters, one of which is Pickle the Dinosaur. My kids love it. Her mom is a crocheter, and her mom created crochet patterns of uh, Georgie and Pickle the Dinosaur. Georgie's a pineapple duck. I mean, it's, it's so cute. So I went ahead and I bought the um, Pickle the Dinosaur pattern, and I am, I've just started this yesterday and I have started like the nose, like this. And I'm using electric lime green 
She uses a 3.75 millimeter hook, but I always use a size G hook, which is a four millimeter hook. And so I went with that and I can see why she did 3.75, <laughs> but that's okay. I don't have anything that big besides the rainbow snake. So why not? That's going to be fun. So my girls are going to share that. And um, I'm looking forward to making Pickle the Dinosaur and seeing how it comes out and uh, doing a review on that pattern. Cause I think that'd be really fun. And I think that'd be relevant. So um, something else that I have been working on a lot is when I wasn't stitching, I was crocheting Yoda and I also was knitting a lot. Um, if you follow me on Instagram at Brianna Lens on Instagram, then um, you will have seen that I purchased this new Brava worsted weight yarn in the speckles and I wanted to try it. It's acrylic yarn and so I bought it in blue, I bought it in the black, and I bought it in this rainbow color, which I love this one. I'm gonna make this hat next. I've been making hats with it. And this is how it knits up in a regular hat. I think it's really pretty. I haven't blocked these yet. Um, so I did the teal and I did it in pink. And I'm actually gonna have to re-knit these uh, for my children as well. I'm gonna have to get more and knit them for my girls. They've already requested. But this is Christmas knitting. Um, I don't think my family watches my floss tube. If you watch my floss tube and then you're in my family, turn it off now. Thank you. Um, this is for my aunt and my two cousins. So, and I'm just gonna give it to them and then they can pick. Uh, what pattern is this, right? I don't have, do I have the paper with me? Yes, I do. Ah. This is a $5 pattern. It is the Piece of Cake Hat by Susan B. Anderson. Um, it's a very simple pattern. It's for sport weight yarn and worsted weight yarn. Um, now that I have knit this, I will say that there is a free pattern by Yarn Inspirations that I've also knit that this is um, pretty much the same thing. The decreases might be different. So if you like the decreases on this hat, if you're able to tell, um, then I would suggest this hat. If you like knitting in sport weight, then I would suggest this pattern. Um, but if you are looking for a free version of that pattern, Yarn Inspirations uh, stocking hat or something like that um, has the, the same pattern but for free pretty much and um i've knit that one and it worked out great as well so look it's a great pattern i like susan b anderson so i was happy to uh purchase her pattern because i haven't purchased any of her yarn even though i do think her yarn is um fair and it's uh all usa made and i appreciate the fact that she is trying so hard to have a made in usa industry uh, business um so all that to say, I would suggest you support Susan B. Anderson, and I like her a lot. If you don't know who she is, go check her out. Uh, she is the owner of Barrett Wool Company, which is this logo. And she has a lot of great instructional videos on YouTube. Uh, she taught me a lot of things on YouTube for free. So, um, yeah, I was happy to buy. I was happy to purchase the pattern from her. Uh, the thing I did need to buy new uh, needles for these. I needed to buy 40, no, 16 inch US size five needles. And so I decided to go ahead and buy carbons. These are my favorite needles. I like Chow Goose a lot, which I'm using Chow Goose in the size uh, sevens. But um, you use the size, where are my Chow Goose? Hi there. So you use the size fives for the brim of the hat. And then you're gonna go up to size, I believe size sevens for the body of the hat. So these are the carbons and um, they are a little bit more money on Amazon if you buy it from there or at your local needlework store um, or yarn store. But I like the chow goos a lot. Most of my 16 inch or all of my needles really are chow goos, but I do love carbons. I like them a lot. So, I have the teal and all my ends are woven in. I just haven't blocked them yet. And I don't like snipping my threads until I've blocked my work. So I've got those, the rainbow one is next. 
Um, and so that's for the girls. And then if I have enough time, um, I've got uh, these two, which will be for my uncle and my other cousin, Jacob, which is, um, I have my Aunt Jenny, my Uncle Bob, and then my cousins, Kristen, Andy, and Jacob. So that's the point. So the idea of this hat is that it's supposed to be where you can, it will fit anybody, like it's unisex. And so for a guy, you can just have it over. And then if it's a girl, you can just basically flip up your brim and it's supposed to fit your head. Um, so it's like a piece of cake hat. It's going to fit everybody. And I love it. And um, I'm also using Chow Goo uh, double pointed needles. And I am keeping this, all of this stuff in a basket that I got from Sam's Club. It was a set of two. I have this basket that I keep this in and then I have another basket that I keep all of my um, knitted and crocheted animals in. Um, and then, so that was my hats, which I just need to cast on the other hat and then I'll probably just end up working on it, but um, I didn't want to distract me from my stitching because I was just knitting, knitting, knitting. Um, the other thing that I started, which I already know is gonna be too small for me, um, which is fine. I'm going to probably knit it and then put it away for my daughter because she's growing up so fast. Uh, do I have it in here? Where is my... Oh, I have the pattern on my phone. This is a pattern by Sorella and I'll put the name of it here. Um, but it is a I thought I had a physical copy of it. Anyway, um, I, I'll i insert a picture here. And I did, it's supposed to significantly grow when you block it. It just, I don't know. If it fits me, great. If it doesn't fit me, then I'll just save it for my daughter and it'll fit her eventually. Um, you start at the bottom and then you work your way up all the way in garter stitch and then you do a little bit of shaping for the shoulders and then I'm doing the short sleeve version of this and then you basically make two of them and then you're gonna mattress stitch them together. And I am stitching it with this Kobu yarn um, in mauve and you can buy this at Walmart. But um, I should have, I don't know what I should have done. Lots of things probably, but I think it's gonna be too small. So I thought about ripping it out, but I might, I don't know, I might rip it out and crochet something because there's really cute patterns that I saw. Um, so yeah, so I've got that going on. Um, so I did Yoda, I've got the dinosaur going and I bought, okay. I bought two more books. This was less than $8 on Amazon. This is Repeat Crafter Me. Yeah, Repeat Crafter Me. Um, I have been following her for a long time. And so for less than $8 on Amazon, I decided to support her and buy her book. And she has really cute, easy amigurumi. So if you're interested in getting into amigurumi, this, I would suggest um, this book. It's a great value. And she has great patterns in here. Um, like here's a good, she's got a whale, she's got a dog, an alligator, a sheep, a jellyfish, a bee, an owl, a monkey. Um, super duper cute. And they're all relatively easy. Um, this fox is really cute. Let's see. I'm gonna make this jellyfish. Fiona really wants me to crochet her a jellyfish. And that shouldn't take much time. Um, I love this owl. I think that'd be really cute for fall. Just to have as decor. Super cute. There's a snail in here that I'd love to make. How cute is that? Um, Sammy the snail. And then she has a unicorn in here. She has a Victor the viper. Um, and then this one is Uniqua the unicorn. So really cute, a lot of good value. And then just, you know, the classic giraffe and kitty cat. And um, there's even a hippopotamus. So that'd be cute for Christmas. Um, then I also bought this. My daughters asked me to crochet um, some Pokemon characters, which I have already crocheted uh, Pikachu years ago. 
Um, I think that was my first amigurumi project. It was either Pikachu or it was um, Oogie Boogie. But my um, next project after the dinosaur is Eevee, which I want to make Psyduck. It's really what I want to make because I like Psyduck a lot. Um, but I'm going to make Eevee. So I'm going to make Eevee next. So that's what I got crochet plan wise among other among other things. And then um, you probably saw that I got the Cricut Maker, which I'm super happy about. I have got shirts and designs like ready to go. If you haven't seen those videos, I've got my unboxing video. I've got a couple other things like setting up the Cricut Maker. I love it. They just came out the Cricut Maker 3. I decided to just go ahead and stick with my Cricut Maker. Um, but the first projects that I made, this was the first thing that I made and it was for Jules and it was one of those dollar water bottles from um, Walmart. And this is a design from Cricut Design Space and she wanted a fairy house with the heart door. And then on the back it says Jules in um, like, you know, fairy writing. And then she picked out this hot pink fairy to go on this color changing cup that was also um, from Walmart. And then Fiona has her water bottle at school but it's got a Pikachu on it. And then um, she also has this uh, gold metallic Pokemon on her color changing cup. So I have a lot of these that I want. I also made um, a, a set of these for my friends and so I'll insert a video here. And they loved them. They're all watercolor changing cups. And um, we were going to a rodeo. We didn't end up going, but they had finals and Ada and uh, Breezy is a fifth grader and she she could be going into sixth grade now. But anyway, it was her finals. And so I made her something that said this ain't my first rodeo and just a lot of other stuff in silver metallic and it's been a lot of fun. And then um, I've got shirts that I'm gonna make and a bunch of stuff for the booth that I'm gonna make. And I've got some fun things that I wanna make, um, like craft related and then Halloween stuff. I can't wait. So um, I've been part of different Facebook groups and that has been so much fun. People's creativity is incredible. I'm just scratching the surface right now. So anyway, um, I'm sure there's other stuff, but I just can't think of it right now. But yeah, just been having a lot of fun. I've been like redecorating and doing a ton of stuff at the booth. And I have like clips that I'm going to add to the end of this where I added stuff to my booth at the Rusty Cabin. And I want to show you all the handmade things that I made for that. And I'm just going to touch the end of this video. Um, so you guys can watch them here. Hey everybody. I wanted to show you what I made for my shop this week before I, um, head out to put it in there. I thought it would be kind of fun. I am starting to do like these weekly vlogs because I'm putting a lot of more effort into my shop and putting not just resold items, but a lot more handmade items. And I haven't really shared much of that or have I really shared much of what my shop, what my, what my booth looks like. Um, so first what I wanted to share are the 16 by 16 inch tan ticking pillows. I have a handmade by briannalentz.com tag. Uh, I think it looks really nice. I have these priced at $16 and I love these. I have two of these closed. I closed the bottom um, by machine because it was ticking. So I really like these. I hope that those sell fast. I think they're really cute. I think I want to make some for my house. Next, I have this pillow, which is uh, a tea cloth um, and I sewed it to the fabric and then I made this into another smaller ticking pillow. And here's the back, it's plain. And the stripes are going horizontal whereas the other ones are vertical. I have a, an embellishment right here with the safety pin and buttons to give it that vintage vibe and I really like this. Another a tag specific for these handmade items to separate them to let them know that I made them. I have this uh, as a farmhouse honey on ticking pillow. $12. So really like this one. This one is a farmhouse pillow and goose 12 by 12 inch pillow. 
and I closed this one with the whip stitches. So did I uh, close the other one with the whip stitch as well. But I like this one because it looks vintage, it looks worn. I think it'll look really cute in anybody's house who's going for that farmhouse vibe. Um, and then also I have this cinnamon pillow. I'm gonna be starting to do fall and Christmas things. And I thought cinnamon is kind of all year round in my house. So I thought I'd go ahead and put it in the shop. This one I have priced at $8 if you were interested. And it's plain on the back. It's really simple and it's whip stitched on the bottom. So this is what I have right now. I'm already in the process of making other things. I really like this. I haven't seen anybody do this before. So I really like this. I, I think it's original, original to me. And um, let me know in the comments down below if you would be interested in having me uh, make some of these and put them in my Etsy shop. Would you be interested in buying these? Because I could ship these for not a ton of money because they're so lightweight. I love making pillows. Let me know what you think. Was there anything in there that you saw that you um, gave you a light bulb that you think, oh, hey, Brie, you should also try making this. I would love to hear it. Uh, also, if there was something that you would like to purchase that you saw, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I, I just would like to hear from you. So thanks for watching. Okay, I'm going to pop on again. Today is Friday the 14th of May, and I'm going to be bringing some things into my shop again. I know I just shot a clip um, yesterday of, was it yesterday? No, it was the day before of um, pillows that I was bringing into my booth at the Rusty Cabin in Savannah, Oklahoma. But I'm also going to be uh, bringing these in. I just made these. This is my Patriotic Pinwheel Pillow. This is 16 by 20 inch. I closed it with a... Uh, whip stitch, which I love. I think it gives it a handmade touch. It lets people know that this was handmade um, and not just resold or something like that, which is totally fine. I do that too, but these are handmade by me. Here are my tags again. And this one I, per I labeled, what am I trying to say? I'm going to be selling for $16. I also have a honeycomb pillow, which also looks like chicken wire. Um, and this is a 16 by 16 inch pillow for $14. Same front and back. I don't know if I said this, but I stuffed all of these with polyfill. And then this one is so fun. This is my patriotic lobster pillow. I have uh, bags with this fabric in my shop, Brennellet shop on Etsy, which I'll link down below. But with the remaining fabric I had, I decided to go ahead and use it and make a 20 by 20 inch pillow. And I think this is so cool. I love this. I have this uh, marked for $20 as well. And all of my tags are being secured with um, those stitch marker type pins. So there's my tag. So anyway, I thought it'd be fun to show you uh, more handmade items that I'm bringing in as well. And I'm sure I'll show this in my video, but I, I have it right next to me. But I'm also working on this embroidery for my booth. I'm gonna be turning this probably into a pillow. Um, this is a pattern by Chestnut Junction, but I can't wait to get this finished so I can go ahead and make stock for fall. Anyway, I'm having a blast. I'm also vlogging for um, my new weekly vlog series that I'm doing, making things for my booth and stuff and um, Etsy. I'm just focusing on my booth right now. Um, so yeah, fun, huh? All right, I'll see you guys in the next clip. A floss tube. Okay, another segment. I haven't uploaded floss tube in a while. I haven't stitched in a while. I've embroidered and it's going to be like this kerfluffle of videos that are put together, which I love watching those types of floss tubes. So maybe I need to go in that direction where I just kind of put them together. Um, I'm going to link down below and up here my vlogs that I've been working on while I'm working in my antique booths the last couple of weeks. Uh, my antique booths, like I have more than one. I just have one. Um, I'm wearing right now a $1.99 shirt that I got from Treasure Chunk. It's a local consignment shop and I love it. And I've got my hair in braids. Um, I haven't done matching braids like this in a long time and I am living for it. I love it. It's been out of my way all day. So um, this is the last uh, piece of, what am I trying to say? This is the last batch of items that I'm going to be taking to the Rusty Cabin that I've made. And so I have to share it with you. Um, if you don't watch those vlogs and stuff like that, then I still want you to see what I made. So um, I first I made this pillow. I made another pillow. And uh, this one is a 12 by 12 pillow with this uh, polka dot fabric and it's tan and it's super cute. And I um, sewed a embroidery transfer 
on, well, first of all, I did an embroidery transfer on muslin and then I sewed it to the top and then I sewed it to the fabric and then I made the pillow and I finished it with the whip stitch and I love this. Super, super duper cute. And um, this matches this bag. I made four bags, maybe five. I, I have another one, but I'm not sure if I'm putting it in the booth or my Etsy shop yet. But uh, originally I was making this bag and I made a mistake when I cut out my lining fabric and that's when I decided I was going to make a pillow um, because, you know, you adapt and move on, right? So I, um, I have that same polka dot fabric for my lining. These are the same bags that I have in my Etsy shop. I think I have uh, one, maybe two of these boxed bottom bags in my Etsy shop right now, but I am working on more inventory. I have a shipment of fabric coming in very soon. So if you like these, uh, however, um, message me, leave me a comment down below and I can see if you wanna purchase one, um, let's, let's talk, you know. I'm putting these in my booth, but if they don't sell, I can always uh, ship it to you and we can work out a custom order on Etsy. But yes, I love this. This has hens and roosters on it. And I think it's super duper cute and they all have handles and they all have, like I said, the box bottoms. So love this one. I have more fabric too of the hens and the roosters. So if you like this, I can always make another one. And then uh, today I made these bags, which you can watch me make in my vlog, which like I said, I'll, I'll link down below. But this is that old newsprint type fabric, super vintage, super pretty. It has a vanilla zipper and it has that cream or vanilla lining. Super simple. I love this. I think it's really pretty. Then I made um, one with this extra floral fabric that I had. And I really like this. I actually have pillowcases that I made for spring and summer this year out of this. And it is the same design with the box bottom. And it has the handle, vanilla zipper, and the same vanilla inside, which I think is really, really pretty. And lastly is this really cute, it reminds me of those like, um, modified journals and stuff like that. It's super, super cute. It's gray, white, and then it has these um, touches of blue and green. So for the zipper, I did a light gray, and I thought that would really uh, coordinate well with the mint green that I had inside. I thought this was like a really pretty pop of color. So yes, I love these. Um, my mother-in-law told me that I should put my bags in my booth, and so here I am listening to her, taking her advice, and I'm putting some of these bags in my booth. And I really like these. These all fit the vibe of my booth uh, at the Rusty Cabin in Savannah, Oklahoma. And so I've got four bags and a pillow going in, and it's very exciting. Um, so yeah, so all I have to do now is tag these with my pretty handmade tags and get them in there this week. So I hope you guys are all having a great stitchy week, a great crafty week, and I will see you soon. All right, that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. Uh, you know, I don't know if I even introduced myself, but I'm Brie, BrianaLens.com. And <laughs> I I would love to know what you guys thought about having a special edition um, second part to floss tube where it was everything else that wasn't stitch related. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback on that. I so appreciate your time. I'd love to know what your favorite thing was that you saw um, that I'm either working on or that I made. I'd love to hear your feedback. And uh, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It's so helpful to me. And if you uh, subscribe to my channel and I can get notified, I'd love to check out your channel. So hit that down below. I'd love to comment, or I'd love for you to comment. I can come hang out with you a little bit on your channel. And um, you know, I'll see you guys soon. I want to upload again, either before July or in the middle or beginning of July before Christmas in July and all those festivities start. So again, thank you so much for hanging out with me, you guys, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.